G'day folks, it's the Maple Monkey here again, um, and uh, I think I'm live at the moment, so uh, I think I got caught, caught out a little bit there, but um, yeah, I think I think we're good to go. This is the first uh, time I'm trying a live stream uh, with a new uh, system, uh, I think it's called StreamYard, StreamYard, yep, uh, and uh, I'm trying this out because I'd like to be able to do some stuff where I can like share the screen using my computer and that sort of thing, I was just using my phone before for the live streams and stuff like that, so I thought this would be a little bit more useful for, for some more um, different types of videos and that sort of thing as well, so um, yeah, this, this one's going to be, uh, if it works, all about um, showing off how to do some more of the homebrew stuff. So uh, uh, a couple of, well, about a week ago, um, I was uh, invited on uh, Andrew Fantasia's uh, uh, YouTube channel, um, uh, or uh, one of his YouTube channels. He's a, um, uh, I guess a presenter on uh, digital charcuterie. Uh, so, uh, and we went through uh, how to basically design um, heroes and villains, uh, you know, or going through that the concept stage of like coming up with the ideas and that sort of thing. So we we used uh, some Excel spreadsheets and um, uh, I think it was Google Sheets and that sort of thing to sort of like plan these out. And we we came up with uh, a couple of couple of good designs there. So one was. Um, uh, armor. Uh, we, we designed Armor the uh, X-Man hero and uh, we did uh, Hydro Man as the villain. So the plan is, uh, what I'd like to do is uh, Diversion Architect or uh, Dave from um, uh, from all over the place really in the homebrew community but uh, he, he's on uh, um, Marvel United Discord and, um, and other places as well. He's got a really good system that he's building up uh, through InDesign um, as a way to um, build your, uh, your homebrew content there. So he's going to hopefully, if we can get this working and, and this video works, uh, we'll be able to uh, show you step by step how to how to actually sort of take those concepts like we've got with uh, Andrew and myself the other day and put them into the into the actual uh, graphical layout and the, the templates there. So um, yeah, so I thought well, I better see if I can learn how to how to do this live streaming sort of stuff as well. Um, and uh, I also thought that well, if I'm going to uh, be practicing, let's let's try out and have a look at uh, one of the other great um, uh, homebrew uh, design sort of templates out there, which is uh, Helios 23's uh, Photoshop um, template, which he's uh, kindly shared on uh, Marvel United Discord as well. So um, that's the plan today is to take you through how, how that works. So a bit of a long, long, uh, <laughs> long winded <laughs> rambling start there, but that's the plan. So if I can work this out, um, what I'd like to start us with is if we have a look here, I'll go into present. Oh, Hello, Sin Arcane. How are you going? <laughs> Hope this is, I don't know if it's early morning or, or late night or just middle of the day, but um, wherever you are, I uh, hope you're having a good one. So um, yeah, we're, we're going to go through and, and sort of practice how to do some um, uh, homebrew design here. So, um, but what I'd like to do, like, fingers crossed I don't disappear. I'm going to uh, try and present my screen here, share screen. Um, and let's go in and have a look here. Um, so hopefully you guys should be able to see this. Um, so this is the uh, Marvel United uh, wiki uh, on fandom and um, Dave, uh, Diversion Architect, he's set up uh, midday. All right, <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> hopefully you're catching this during a lunch break or something. So um, yeah, uh, this is, so the, yeah, this is the existing Marvel United wiki and Dave has uh, sort of started creating this homebrew section um, yeah, so we're going to have a look here. Uh, I might just uh, shrink this down for me so I can see a little bit better here. But we've got this homebrew section here, and we have uh, Marvel, non-Marvel, and resources. So if we have a look here in the Marvel section, uh, he started putting up some content like his uh, Age of Apocalypse um, villains uh, here. And he, I think he's going to be putting in his, uh, his heroes and all sorts of things from there as well. So you can check that out. Uh, he's also started setting this up. So there's a lot of different uh, universes that people are working on in the Marvel United Discord and other places as well. So he's starting to gather this stuff, and hopefully we'll all be able to start using this and putting and you know transporting our designs over to here to be easily accessible and, and reachable. Um, so I've started having a bit of a practice with that with my uh, Warriors Orochi. 
And apologies, uh, because of how I put the screen here, I can't really see the uh, the chat feature at the moment. So I'll, I'll keep checking back in on that. But here you can see, for example, I've just started to put in, so I've created this Warriors, Warriors Orochi page here. Um, and it's got a little bit of a introduction to what it's all about. So it's a, another sort of um, branch of the united system here so based on the dynasty warriors and samurai warriors and and those sorts of guys from the, the video games um and a little bit of an explanation of like a special feature that i've sort of put into that mode no no idea if this works properly yet or is uh, balanced but uh, it's a bit of fun anyway um and i've created a uh hero here uh Zhao Yun. So if there are any, and you can see there, and this is the idea here, is like the whole point is you can show off your designs and have some links where people can go and print those out themselves. Um, and so, yeah, that's what this is all about here. So this is uh, Zhao Yun. And uh, yeah, that will take you into some, into the Google drives and, and that sort of thing where you can get those guys printed off. So if you are a home brewer out there um, or, you know, you're thinking about doing it and this, this video gives you some um, sort of confidence to start building your own stuff, this is also a place where you can then share it so that people can use it. So um, let's go, and here we go. You've got a bit of an explanation of what the homebrew section is all about here. So, and you can see there's more sections down here and that sort of thing as well. So that will keep growing, hopefully. Um, so yeah, if you're a homebrew designer, I definitely recommend you sort of uh, get over here and start um, uh, start you know editing out these pages so we can sort of start filling them up. But let's have a look at the uh, resources because this is what I wanted to show you here was I mentioned we were looking at um, the InDesign templates from the version architect. So that's uh, you can get sort of a link to, to that there. Um, but you can also, this is what I'll be using here, which is the Photoshop template. So um, uh, Helios 23 uh, has really um, done a great, great service to us by sharing all these templates and that sort of thing in the Marvel United Discord. And I believe you can sort of access them here as well. Uh, and X Nelly Nell X, another great homebrew designer as well. Um, he's been working a lot. And I think he, I'm not sure, how, um, I'll have to get X Nelly Nell X to sort of confirm this or not, but I think he might uh, use Helios's um, templates to sort of build his designs as well. So uh, yeah, all good. So I just wanted to show you that's where you can access those things as well, besides the um, Marvel United Discord as well. So let's uh, stop sharing, uh, stop sharing that. Um, and hopefully I'm back. All right, there we go. Um, and uh, so what we're going to do now um, is uh, I'll, I'll get into the actual Photoshop uh, world itself. Now, what I've uh, picked today for our little project is um, the winner of a little competition I ran a little while ago uh, for some of the uh, chibi uh, figures um, for One Piece, the One Piece homebrew stuff. Uh, Darnell, he, I think as part of that, he answered some questions like in the little Google Sheets form or something like that little survey. And I think uh, he, I asked him like, you know, what, um, what characters do you want to see uh, going forward and that sort of thing. And one of the characters I think he mentioned was Garp. Uh, so we've got Garp, he's a little chibi figure of Whoa, uh, Garp there, he's uh, Monkey D. Luffy's grandpa, if I'm not mistaken, Navy soldier. I don't think he's an admiral, but he's a, he's a Navy guy. Um, so he's, he's a pretty pretty cool character, actually. So, uh, and yeah, I, I highly agree with Darnell. I think we, we should have uh, Garp in the game. Um, and I reckon it won't be too long before Helios uh, probably wants to, Helios 23 wants to take a stab. Oh, here we go. I'm, I'm back on, I'm back. I can see some uh, <laughs> conversation here. So uh, Diversion Architect, Dave, Dave's uh, jumped in. So he says, uh, yay, the wiki, um, Chrono Trigger United. Oh, just came to mind. Well, there you go. So start using some of the, the uh, techniques here. Um, I don't know, if, do I call you uh, Mr. Arcane, Sin? <laughs> Sin. Um, but, uh, you know, you could jump in and start start making your own as well. Um, ooh, they'd have, they'd have to have team up techniques. All right, that's, is that something to do with Chrono Trigger? I've got really no idea what uh, Chrono Trigger is, but a uh, great overview of how to use the wiki. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very, very uh, high tech. By the way, if this is, um, if you've come here looking for a tutorial on how to use Photoshop, I highly recommend you look um, elsewhere, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> this is probably shouldn't be your uh, your, your first, uh, first one. So uh, Sin will be fine, sweet. <laughs> Thanks Sin. All right, so, um, yeah, now the next step is hopefully I can get um, get the Photoshop thing working here and we can all see that. So I'm going to try and share if this works. Mm -hmm. So Dave, um, or Diversion Architect, um, I'm just 
practicing this so that when we do our tutorial of InDesign as well, hopefully I'll know which buttons to press and we, we won't disappear off the screen. So let's see. Um, yeah, chrono trigger thing, really fun partner specific combos. Okay, chrono trigger. Um, hmm. Can't, can't remember, is it an arcade game? I can't really remember it. Um, okay, uh, so let's share a screen. Uh, <laughs> Okay, this is really tedious for people who know what they're doing. Um, entire screen. Yeah, let's try that. I think that's the only way I'm going to be able to show things like uh, the Photoshop. Okay, so entire screen. Now, why is that not letting me share? Choose what to share. Microsoft. Da, da, da. Um, mm -hmm. This worked before. Why won't this work now? Entire screen. Oh, there we go. Just got to click on it. All right. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're cooking. All right. Let's let's get started. So, all righty then. Um, Photoshop. Oh, it's um, it's like window. I don't know what that looks like for you guys, but I'm sort of like going into a, a <laughs> never-ending tunnel of <laughs> windows here. All right. Let's open this up here. Uh, now, hopefully, you guys can see that. I'll just drag this across. Give us a thumbs up if you can see that. Um, as one of my favorite board games from Aeon's End. You know, oh, Aeon's End, yeah, wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, if you like Aeon's End, definitely check out Kanji Studios. He's a great homebrew designer uh, for Marvel United as well, but he has some great um, Aeon's End, like he regularly plays with a mate of his, Pac-Man. Um, oh, there we go, we can see it, excellent. Um, he plays on his channel, Kanji Studios. Um, yeah, lots of great um, Aeon's End uh, content there. So hopefully this is big enough you guys can see this. And um, well, I think I'm getting a cold. I hope this doesn't sound too bad on the on the stream. Um, but this is what you see. Oh, I forgot to show you this. Sorry. Uh, this is so you can see. There's a lot of stuff that in Helios's package here. He uh, shares a lot on Discord on the Marvel United Discord. So he's got hero files. He's got locations. He's got uh, threat cards and master plans. He's even got new mission cards. All sorts of stuff there. So Helios, if you jump in or if you uh, see this later on, and if you if I'm making any mistakes or uh, not representing your stuff, or you, you feel like you want to sort of explain a bit more, feel free to jump into the comments as well and and correct anything that I'm uh, not getting correct here. But yeah, lots of cool stuff to to um to work with with his uh, his system here. So I'll just minimize that. All right. So this is what you see when you open up his latest version of the um, the hero template. Um, I've just added uh, myself. I've just had this little tiny little area over here. I don't know if you can see that, but that um, is just like a little artist byline thing because I finally um, worked out how to sort of put that in and I figured uh, it's been sort of bugging me for a while that I'd been building these cards but I hadn't really been giving the uh, the artists credit so um, this is just something I sort of added in here so uh, hopefully that will work. Um, so let's start uh, from the beginning we're, we're going to create uh, GARP here so the first thing I like to do when when I start is, uh, and it's all controlled by these layers. So we're using Photoshop here. Now I'm very, very unskilled when it comes to Photoshop. So the purpose of this video really, uh, apart from just showing you how to do this, is also just to highlight uh, how good this template is that Helios has put together that even someone with virtually zero Photoshop skills coming into it was able to sort of fumble my way through it and work out how to use it. So the key was understanding this section over here and working out like I, I was doing this and going, oh, okay, that that does a thing. When you click on this, it makes it disappear, not disappear. I was like, okay, interesting, but how, well, you know, what do I do? Then I worked out that it's all about these little boxes here, or these little arrows. So that makes all the little options appear in the different sections. So if you want to start messing with actions, you click on this little arrow, and that opens up the different options for single actions or double actions and so on. So we'll go through all that, but the first thing I like to do is uh, work on the uh, the hero name, which I think is this one. So if I double click on that, or if I just double click up here as well, you can sort of double click here or down in the little section, and that brings that up. So once it's highlighted, you can change that. So we're going to use GARP. Now I could do monkey D GARP, um, but I think for the purposes of this, we'll just call him GARP. All right, so that's done. All right, so now and we can get rid of that. 
or we can make it reappear again just with these little symbols here. So this is how this works in general. So we've done that. Um, the next thing I'd like to do, or the next thing I usually like to start with is actually an image because that helps me. You can, you can do the color design uh, lots of different ways, but I like to, um, I like to start with an image. So we're going to go down to, we scroll down here, I'll just collapse that back up again, and we're going to look for character art. So that's this line down here. So we'll open that up and I'll just uh, see if I slide this across a little bit. Uh, picture in picture infinity. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. I better not mess with that too much. All right. I just thought I better check in on the, the comments. There's probably a way I can make this smaller, but um, um, I don't want to mess with things too much. So here we go. So we've got background art here and foreground out. Now for this first one, I'm just going to use this one here. So I'm going to double click on this so we can highlight it and then double click. That takes us into the actual image itself. I've already got some, um, some that I prepared earlier, some of these here. So we'll go into, I think it's in downloads and in the homebrew art section. Uh, I'll open this up. And I've got some images here you can see. And the one I want to use here is this one. So I'm just going to drag this into the window and that's going to make that appear there. Now, very important when you're setting this up, what this is doing is this is going to create the image that goes into that section back in the main screen. But once we've dropped that in there, you want to go back to whatever you've got there previously, uh, right click on it and then hit delete layer. Because if you don't do that, for some reason it doesn't work. So <laughs> um, I think even if you were to make this disappear, like clicking the little um, eye symbol, I think it still doesn't work. So we've got to get rid of that. Um, and now sometimes when you put these images in, they're really small and you sort of uh, it can expand them out. But this one seems like it's uh, blown up nice and large for us. So we can pretty much go from there. So we go up here. Very important. Before we go back to our main card here, um, we click over here and hit save. Now, some of the stuff I might, I'm doing here might also just be inefficient and actually is like a superfluous step. Um, and apologies if, if I'm going through any of those, but these are just the things that I've kind of learnt that I need to do. So I've got to hit save there. That sort of saves that. Then we go back here because I think if we don't hit save, if I went back into this spot, it would still show the old image. Now we've got uh, this picture here and you can see here now we can move it around and it's behind this layer here because it's all to do with layers, right? So this is saying that uh, this image should be over the top of this uh, image behind it, which we can see it is, but it should be underneath the hero frame, which it also is as well. So um, that's pretty good. So what I'd like to do is resize this a little bit so we can get more of the image in. And uh, I'm going to hit shift and then dr drag on these little edges here or these little corners. Uh, and that should allow us to sort of size it so that it fits and we can sort of get what we want out of this image. Uh, let's see here, we want to get Garp. Yeah, we want to still be able to see Garp here, but we want to see that he's punching Luffy. Let's just maybe, yeah, that's, there we go. All right, so here's Monkey D. Luffy. Here's Luffy here and his grandpa punching him in the face. So this card, this is this was my main idea for, for Garp. Um, let's see, is that all good? Yep. Now. Uh, we'll have to change this artist because this is a different artist at the moment. But uh, the idea for this card is this is going to be called Fist of Love. So one of, um, oh, I, hope, I just heard a bit of a crackle there. I hope my sound is still going. Uh, I'll just slide this across and I'll minimize that. Um, oh, what do we got here? So uh, ogres like Photoshop. Ogres. I don't know what ogres are. are ogres l like Photoshop. Can you guys still hear me? Getting some weird sounds going on. Um, ogres like Photoshop. I don't know what that means. Ah, goodness. Goodness. All right. Now, uh, okay. Let's get back to it. Um, let's see. Uh, now, okay, yeah. So we've got, we've done our little, uh, we've put our character art in there. For now, that's all done. So we're going to close that up again. And we'll slide back up to the ability box. So this ability box, we can turn it off and we can see that there's um, more to the template under here and that sort of thing as well. But we'll get, we'll put that back on. And because this is going to be a card that has a special effect. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we're going to give this a title. We're going to call it uh, Fist of Love. 
And essentially this is Garp uh, beating the um, daylights out of his kids basically, or his grandkids. Well, not his grandkids, but like the kids he's in charge of, right? So uh, Ace and uh, Luffy. So, and he's doing it for, for their own good so that they apparently, <laughs> apparently get some experience from it right so fists of love um so this is uh where we're going to give some rules here so the idea with this card is that um i want basically garp to beat up luffy or beat up whoever's on his team uh to teach them a lesson right so we're going to say um oh gosh i hope this sound is working uh, 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 uh. getting some funny sounds going on here uh the, you know what I should do, Dave, I'm going to put on, uh, I'm going to put, uh, what do we call it? Marvel Discord off to the side here on my phone. So if for, for any reason uh, you can't hear me, uh, you can let me know on that if, if things go astray. All right. So, oh goodness, there's sounds going off everywhere. Um, now, let's see, we're going to, we're going to say here that, uh, let's say deal uh say deal one damage to a oh good excellent to a hero and we can always fix up the wording and things like that i don't want to get too bogged down in this because uh, i don't want this video to go super long for people who uh just want to sort of get a basic idea of how this works deal one damage to a hero in your location Okay, and then underneath that we'll say, if you do, that hero gains, and this is where these icons come in. So this is where we're going to go up here. We're going to get rid of move, attack, hero. Oh, no, we're going to leave wild. We're going to get rid of the thug and the civilian, and we're going to keep that there. Now, I think what I'd like to do is come back to the um come back to the rules and i think i'd like to just drop this down a little bit center that um now the problem is uh oh yeah this is not going to be centered very well here but um yeah i can work that out later but the idea is uh i'd like to then put this wild token uh we go up here and we can, I'm just using the arrow keys here to slide this across. Okay. Uh, well, you know what we'll do? Let's do this. If I can work out a better fix for this. Let's go back to the, back to these. Let's go back up one. Um, and then we'll go back here. And we'll slide this across this way. We'll put it underneath. <laughs> a little bit more centered. So it gains this. And we'll just do a copy uh, with a control C and then control V. And then down we go. And we'll slide this one across here. So essentially, uh, you can choose to deal a damage to a, a, a friend. And if you do, they gain, um, they gain two wilds. So there you go. Um, oopsie. And yeah, nice. Excelente. All right. Uh, it probably needs to be a little bit centered, but that's all right. We could we could always mess with that. So um, here we have our uh, image. We've got our ability, and that's that's it. Pretty much all nice and easily done. All right. So now we want to build the rest of the card. So let's go back to get get rid of the ability box. We'll go into the actions now. For this action um i figure let's give him you know what this is him being uh such a great granddad so i think we're gonna make this a heroic yeah let's let's make this a heroic so we'll make it a single action uh so we'll go down into our options here we've got wild card selected we'll get rid of that and we'll make the heroic visible and that's all there is to it so it's really just a matter of going through these different layers and picking and choosing which thing is visible which thing is not so we'll do that all right so there we go. We've we've built that, and 
The reason I like to put these images in, uh, coming back to this, is because this is, helps me uh, come up with my color scheme. Now, uh, however, the image that I've <laughs> picked for the first image, probably not the most useful because it's basically just a giant face being punched, but we do have some of the colors I was thinking of for the background. So what I'm thinking is that Garp, since he wears the big sort of white Navy uniform, I'd maybe like him to be wearing, uh, to be, you know, uh, the card essentially to be white. So this is how I do the color skin. There's lots of different ways you could do it. You can sort of go in and pick different things. But uh, if we go down to background, uh, we've got some options here. We've got dot pattern two. We've got dot pattern, is there dot pattern one? I thought there was a dot pattern two. Oh, it's just the one. All right, or sorry, just the this one here. But uh, let's go into the background. Now we've got color overlay here, and that's where we choose our color. But before we do that, this is how I do this. I go in and I hit the color dropper thing, and I'm gonna sample, I'd like this really white, white here, so on his eye there. So we'll sample that. And I usually like to grab a couple of colors here too. I'm thinking maybe this gray here. I think that might be good as well. All right. So then, because my plan is, hmm, that gray might be a bit too, oh, we'll see how we go. Uh, the plan is to go in and hit color overlay and then double click on this. Oop, now, see how I accidentally double clicked and then that sort of picked that color and you can see the cards actually go on that color there. So I've been a bit uh, overly ambitious there, but I'm going to go in and select with my color dropper. I select this white and you can see now we've got a nice white background and uh, this is actually almost exactly the color i was going to choose for the other other one here but let's have a look at this so i just set okay and okay that sets that to there um, and then i was going to go in with the dot pattern same thing color overlay uh, click on that so i realize you don't have to double click you just click once sometimes i forget uh, i'm going to go in and select this gray you can see it just slightly changes it a little bit there um, and I think I'm actually happier with that slightly darker gray there. That's fine. Yep. There we go. Um, so, uh, that gives us Garp there. So that's his card color. Um, and now we need to look at how we're going to lay out the rest of the, uh, color scheme here. So this is where the, um, we'll get rid of the background. This is where the border accents come into it. So, um, I'm thinking hmm i'm thinking for oh actually before i do that sorry we get rid of the ability box get rid of that so this way we can see what the other things are here we've got basically one color two colors three colors to sort of pick from here that we need to decide about so um i was gonna he sort of has like this sort of uh blue shirt that he uses um uh as well and i've forgotten that this image doesn't have that that was going to be my, one of my other main colors so we might come in and put that in a little bit later but uh i'm thinking um yeah we might need to get some of those other colors in here well let's let's just leave this for the moment we can maybe come back and put those colors in so all right we're done with that so fist of love we've got our star we've got that we've got the background here so what we might do is go on to put the um the symbol in or his icon in the top corner so let's do that now let's build that so we'll go in and uh well actually what we should do is this artist is this the one here is that going to select uh, oh no, that's not it. We don't want that. Uh, where's my text layer? Oh, is it this one here? Aha, yes. All right. So let's double click on that. Now this artist who did this picture here is the bio vending machine. Let's see if this fits. The, <laughs> well, I think it's all one word. Bio vending now is that we've got to shrink that down a little bit so let's go other oh can we go but oh no hold on can we just do can we type this in let's go four uh, uh, increase the size of this a little bit mm, let's see 
That's gone a bit big, hasn't it? Hmm. Yikes. Uh oh. Messing with it. What happened there? The buy a vending machine. Let's let's shrink that. Uh oh. Mm -mm -mm. Four. There we go. Something like that. And let's move this. There we go. You could probably mess with that a little bit and make that a little bit easier to see. But the bio vending machine, I think I've put a space there between uh, machine as well. But anyway, there you go. That's the idea. I'm sure you could, uh, people who have got a bit better skills with um, Photoshop could work that out a little bit better there. But there we go. Um, now, uh, we'll go up to the character icon. So if we open that up, this is where this symbol here with uh, Jim Bay's Jolly Roger there is is in there. So we're going to go down and open up uh, the Jim Bay Jolly, and we're going to click on this, I believe. We're going to double click here, and I have a Jim Bay Jolly here, so we'll chuck that in. All righty then. We're going to get rid of that layer behind, speeding things up now. Yep, there we go. We're going to shift. Hold shift and increase the size of this so it fills up the space. Excellent. Now we don't want that white there in the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to select over here in this section over here, there's different tools. And one of them is the erase tool. We've got the magic eraser selected here. So we're going to click here. It'll ask me to rasterize it, which we do. And now that's all transparent behind it. I'm not sure why it asked me to rasterize it. Don't really understand what that term means, but and I know that it asked me to do that. So there we go. Now we need to save that. Save that image as it is. And now we've got that little guy there. Now you can see what happens here is if I hit shift and try and increase the size of this guy, he disappears behind it. So what I'd like to do is I'd actually have that, like to have that overlapping. So we're going to take that Jimbei Jolly and we're going to grab that layer and move it up over the icon outline, I believe. That's where we need to do it. And now if I increase the size of this, whoa, there we go. It's going to be a little bit overlapping. And let's uh, use the P's here. Happy with that? Should we go a bit larger? Let's go a little bit larger. Ooh, yeah, maybe about there. I think I should be holding shift while I do that. Anyway, I think I might have accidentally forgotten to. Yeah, there we go. That looks all right. Maybe I'll just like that. That's good. OK. Uh, yeah, nice. So we've got that there. Um, and I think I'm going to leave it at that for now because I want the other image I'm going to put in to give me more colors for the background and that sort of thing as well. So let's do that. So we'll go up here to File. And what I like to do to organize my stuff is, first of all, I save it somewhere. So I'm going to go Save. Oh, sorry, Save, Ooh, not Save, because if I hit Save, that's going to replace the, uh, don't hit Save, because that will replace the, the basic template. So then I have to download it again. So we don't want to do that. I think I've done that before. Uh, so we're going to Save As. We're going to call this one, instead of Hero Print, Pro Print 2.8, so he's been through a few versions old Helios 23, um, keeps uh, improving on his design. We're going to call this uh, GARP, and this will be GARP's first card. Okay. GARP, I call them GARP. GARP 01. Um, and let's go into, where do I keep these? Let's go down into the homebrew, my MU homebrew. Oh, double click. Is this MU homebrew? Oh, this is MU homebrew. Oh, I was already in there. All right. Uh, let's go. Now, what is GARP? GARP's one piece. So we'll go into one piece and he's going to be a hero. And we'll make a new folder and we'll call that folder GARP. Bingo. And we'll go into there and we'll hit save and he's in there now. And we can come back and fix up the colors a little bit later. Okay. Now, 
uh that is good then i like to well now i do like to then um export quick export uh as a png to make it into a like a like an image file that you can then sort of upload and get it you know you can use that to get do the printing and that sort of thing but we're not going to do that because this is not the final form so let's do uh let's do cool stuff so let's go in and make a new card so the way to start that is to go back down here and i'm only going to make two cards here by the way guys uh because we don't want this to take too long but i just thought i'd show you how to build the card and then also how to sort of build the next card using the existing template so uh the next one is we're going to go down and go to the background and we will uh not the background sorry the the character art and we're going to go in here there we go <laughs> if helios 23 watches this he'll probably be so frustrated with how inefficient i'm being here but uh hopefully he, he enjoys it all right so um let's see uh, i shouldn't say that hit me he might he might uh be enjoying this very much and not be frustrated at all okay <laughs> um so we'll put the new image oh no that's not the image i wanted oh well, that's a preview of, a, of another image uh no what did i want i wanted this one. Oh, I think it's this one. Oh, why is that not working? Oh, something's gone wrong here. All right. I think it's because I need to get rid of that and do that and then put the image in. So there we go. Yep. I think it's because I had the other one selected. So let's get rid of this picture here. Uh, delete layer. Yes. And then let's get rid of this layer here. Delete layer. Yes and let's increase the size of this one so i've uh, these are some obviously you can see these are some images i've selected earlier uh and we'll just put that about there okay and i usually like to try and for the purposes of this try and find images with uh, transparent backgrounds because i'm going to show you something a little different with this one so We've got uh, Garp throwing cannonballs, and this is going to be one of his other ability cards here. So I think we're pretty happy with that. We're going to go up here to file. We're going to hit save, save that layer there. And as we come back up, that should now be in the foreground. So that's in the uh, image section there. So again, we can uh, select, make sure we've got move selected there. We can move that around. And you can see there's that background behind there behind Garp as he's throwing his uh, cannonballs around. So we'll actually grab, we know that this is going to have the um, special effect box here, so we can sort of size our image accordingly. We can uh, shrink that down a little bit. I think I want it to be about maybe a little bigger. Oh yeah, maybe about there. We'll see how we go with the background, but that's pretty good there. All right. Now this has also got some of the colors that I wanted for uh, the rest of the color design as well. So that's why I wanted to get this image in here as well. But before we do that, let's fix, finish this off with the background. So we'll go into the background and we've got our background here. This is the, um, this, this is in the uh, Fishman Kingdoms, I think, um, maybe the palace or something. And we'll go in and we'll select Garp's ship and we'll put this in. Okay. Um, we can probably we can probably increase. We don't really need all this uh, stuff off to the side here. We can probably make the ship a bit more. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Because it's only going to be sort of just a little bit of it in the background, and you're not really going to see much of this image. So don't have to be too careful. Um, and we'll delete that layer behind it, and we'll go. Oops, sorry. I think we have to finalize that there we go then we'll go save oh and it wants us to do lossy i don't really know lossless or lossy what that means but i always just go okay sometimes it sometimes it asks for that sometimes it doesn't i don't know what it means uh <laughs> come here for first for your um top priority photoshop <laughs> tutorials all right uh and we should be able to click in here now oh yes and there we go so we've got the the ship in the background so it's really just to have something going on in the background there so um let's see if we can what happens if we move that around a little bit? Let's see if we can get the dog. Just a bit of a hint of the dog there. 
oh yeah, that's not too bad. And then maybe if we take this image here, oopsie, and what do we want to do? Are we happy with that? Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. So Garp throwing his cannonballs. Um, uh, I, I think I actually want to move that up a little bit higher. There we go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, throwing his cannonballs. Oh, let's go a little bit that way. <laughs> and we've got his his ship in the background. Cool. Uh, now, let's build the rest of the card around this as well. So let's go, I think we want, we'll get rid of the uh, ability box just for now. Ability box disappear, just so we can see these colors. I'd like to use this bluish color here. Uh, for his shirt. I'd also like to maybe use like some of the gold braiding or something from his uniform as well. So let's have a look at this. We've already got the white. I think I'd like to have maybe, ooh, do I want white to be the side color here and maybe the blue for his title? Or do I want blue? Let's see what the white looks like for the first one. So let's check it out. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's what are people talking about? What do they think of my ideas here? Let's uh, minimize this. Uh, people are saying that's pretty wild concept. <laughs> Rasterize. Oh, there we go. Good. People are okay. Everyone's explaining what. I'll go back through these comments later and find out what rasterize means. Thank Google. I didn't understand it either. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Lossy. <laughs> no, yeah. There you go. See. What? A, this is very educational. Very educational. Hopefully, it's also entertaining. Okay, so maybe not so much. We'll see how we go. Um, all right, where was, what was I doing? Doing some colors. All right, we're going to do white, weren't we? Okay, so we'll go to the border accents. And there are three border accents that Helios 23 has put in. So he's put in color accent one. That's the big, big one here. You can see that's kind of like a reddy orange color here. Then color accent two is this sort of one around the sides. And then the third one is just this sort of bottom bit, but also. Uh, oh, no, no, maybe I thought the bottom one was also the color in the middle, but maybe not. All right, so let's do, we said white, so let's do that for this one. Whoa, thanks, get out of there. Okay, um, we'll do this, we'll go in and select our little doobawacky. Okay, what does that look like there? Sometimes it's hard to get a sense for it until you put all the colors in. So, okay, well, that's interesting there. Then let's do that blue here. Or do we want to do? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Let's do, I'm thinking maybe the gold around here. Like, cause it's like you got the, White. Hmm. Not really sure. Let's let's try it. Let's do this. All right. Uh, color overlay. Let's move that over there. Am I still going to be able to select? If I do this, oh good. All right. Color dropper. Let's do. What does that look like? Okay. What does the darker one look like? Mm, not liking that as much. Okay, that's interesting. All right, let's leave that there. Okay. And then let's go down. Sit okay there. And then let's do same thing for color accent three. And this is this is the good fun. So Andrew Fantasia, if you're watching this. You were saying this is the this is the thing that you get hung up on the most, but also it's the most enjoyable because you get to make really cool, cool decisions about the color scheme. So let's have a look here. Um, I think I'm doing the right thing here. I will click on this. Yep. Now let's get some of this yellow. Maybe let's try this a little bit here. Mm, that's a bit too yellow. What about this bit here? Oh, it's like a brown. What about over here? Oh, I don't mind that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then, of course, once you get, once you sort of pick your general color, then you've got all of this to play with, right? But I like to just sort of like try and pick specific things on the character itself to make my colors. So, yeah. All right. Let's have a look at that. 
let's have a look at that. Am I happy with that? Or would I want that reversed? Would I want the gold along here and the blue there? No, I think I like the blue because he's sort of like famous for his blue shirt as well. I think that's one of his other looks is he's often just wearing the shirt sort of thing. Uh, I think he wears black at some point too. Um, yeah, I like that. I think that's cool. Now the question is, what's going to go behind here? Are we going to go gold or are we going to go blue? Uh, do we just want a little bit of gold? There's only a little bit of gold here. So let's go the blue up here. So that's if we come back up here to our icon. Mm. Where's the icon? Up here. Character icon. Icon outline. Icon background, I think, is what we want. And we'll go over overlay. Click on that. Uh, I think we said we wanted blue, didn't we? What does that look like? Mm. Okay, what does this look like? Mm. No, I think I like this. Stands out. Like the, the dog stands out more there. Okay uh and there you go and of course if you don't like any of these design joint choices i've made you can uh take a hike no you can uh <laughs> you can or you know go in and make your own this is the beauty of it once you, you start if you get access to this um this template uh or you know the um uh dave's uh in design template then you know you can make whatever color choices you like make your own make your own heroes so i think that's pretty cool i like that uh yep 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 that's good all right so let's go back let's close that down the character icon yep let's close the icons down as well let's close let's just tidy this up a bit border icons i think we're done with that uh we're done with the background for the moment Let's go back to the ability box. We'll turn that back on so we can see this. Now, the, in the ability box, we need to change this. So this is going to be cannonballs. Now, I don't really know what, I can't remember what the title for this um, attack was called. So I'm just going to call it cannonball toss. Okay. And we can go back and fix it up. Um, so title, there we go. Cannonball. Should we call it cannonball run? All right, cannonball toss. Now, this is, uh, there's a particular sort of scene. I can't remember if this happens multiple times in the show, but there's a scene where he basically just like gets a whole bunch of cannonballs and just like starts tossing them one after the other um, as if he's firing them from a cannon. That's how strong he is. <laughs> and uh, so there was recent, um, recent developments in uh, Board Game Geek. Uh, Helios has shared his design. <laughs> designs and it's met with a little bit of uh yeah, you know uh just a little bit of um polite criticism about how powerful <laughs> some of our characters are um and uh helios has pointed out well the characters are quite over the top and splashy uh there was a counterpoint that also superheroes are also uh, you know pretty over the top and splashy as well but uh yeah generally these guys are pretty over the top and, and powerful sort of thing but uh helios has pretty much designed his his one piece stuff to sort of be almost like using the same system as Marvel United, but I think he sort of sees it as almost like a standalone, so like, you know, adjacent sort of thing that, that you're not really meant to mix the characters with. Um, but, uh, you know, and then so he, he's able to sort of play with um, different power levels there as well, which is pretty cool. But um, I, I will say, um, uh, I, I did ask X Nelly Nell this, but I didn't actually get his response. I probably shouldn't be talking out of turn, but my belief is that I think he, uh, and I could, uh, apologies if I'm getting this wrong, but I believe uh, he sort of designed his stuff to be a little bit more sort of in, in level with the the um, the MU stuff as well. So you've got a bit of a, a range of choices there too with the one piece stuff that's being made by the, the home brewers. So you can sort of pick and choose your, your power levels. Um, all right, so there we go. That's all looking good. Uh, rules, let's go to the rules. Now the cannonball toss. So with this one, I'm gonna go something pretty crazy here again. Um, uh, and I'm going to say, um, uh, punch in, uh, each other, whoopsie, that's a lot of punches because that's, that's five punches in a turn, punch in each other, uh, location, whoopsie daisy, back to front, location, 
Um, now, let's drop that down a little bit, center it. Let's uh, hit that across a little bit and you can just kind of like play with how far along that needs to be sort of thing. Let's just maybe do it that far. about right yeah okay uh we're going to go back to our icons we're going to put the attack icon in instead we're going to get rid of this wild we're going to get rid of this wild as well and you can see when i created that extra wild it's made an extra layer here so you can always go back in and get rid of those if you needed to but you know they're, they're not doing any harm here at the moment uh so now i'm going to select this attack icon i'm going to move it up punch in each other location. So he's basically tossing the cannonballs everywhere. Uh, and I feel like that captures, uh, let's just do it about there. Let's go back to the text. And let's just backspace that a little bit. Oh no, hold on, now I've gone too far. Are you happy with that? Maybe let's go back in one more. And then I can go this one and go in a little bit more. Right. Okay, now that's pretty powerful. So I'm thinking maybe, uh, because he basically sort of like just stands there and gathers all these balls up and starts throwing them, maybe he's not being very helpful. So maybe let's get rid of, if we go back to our actions, maybe this is, an, maybe this is a card that has no, let's get rid of that all together no action so he doesn't help out the team with that so he's just doing lots of punches but he's throwing it all over the place what do we think of that pretty good all right <laughs> terrible who knows all right so uh that's gap so he's tossing cannonballs all over the place he's punching his <laughs> punching his grandkids he's a really stand-up guy all right so um but counterpoint to this because he is so legendary and powerful what i'm thinking is across the board with his number of actions i think i'm going to have him have quite a lot of actions so i'm thinking he's probably going to be sort of up in the range of like 18 across the the board sort of thing we'll see we'll see but uh, that's that's my plan anyway i'm sure helios will come up with a really cool design as well uh, and maybe even nelly nell and, and and others who might get inspired to to jump into one piece as well but this is my idea for the moment sort of thing so darnell if you're watching this uh uh i hope you uh i hope you like it hope you like what you see <laughs> coming your way with garp okay so um so we've done that i think that's pretty much i think that's him done now i wanted to show you i've got to just change the artist here as well i uh, just wanted to show you a couple of things so you can click on this to see the home print outline as well and click on that to get rid of it uh and you can also see the outline so you can get a sense for where the sort of safe zone is like the the safe area so Pretty much you want with um, the printing process and that sort of thing, uh, if you're getting these done print uh, professionally and that sort of thing, you want everything that you definitely want in the on the card sort of within this red space here. Um, and then you have the, uh, what's this, the cut area line here as well. So this gives you a little bit of um, leeway. And then all this area out here, I think is like the bleed area or something, I'm not sure. Or maybe this is the bleed up, I'm not sure, but anyway, so. Uh, just thought I'd show you that that's quite a handy thing that um, uh, Helios has, Helios 23 has uh, included there. Um, I'm not sure if he's got those. I'd, I really like, the, I'd really like the idea of that in the villain templates, like for the dashboard and stuff as well. But I'm not sure he's done it for the, like the big cardboard stuff. But for the cards, he's definitely done that. So excellent. So there we go. So that's Garp, his second card done. I've just got to fix up that art. So where did I put that? I think it was here, wasn't it? um so i'll go in change this this now this artist now this artist actually it's quite handy because um ooh, where am i up to with the typing here mm, stop talking daniel while you're typing you can't do two things at once <laughs> okay there we go bodsky 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 i'm not really sure how to pronounce that but um for pretty much tons of the art that uh, i like and helios 23 like using um this bodsky guy on deviant art uh he or she um has done a whole bunch of uh one piece art in this style here so i really like it so that's um that's that artist there i'm just going to increase the size of that if i can to um 
back to six, I think, because that's a much bigger thingy. Yeah. There we go. You can probably move that. Should I move it? Tempt fate. Does that look a bit better if I put it down there? There we go. Bodsky. I think I've sp spelt that right. Um, there we go. And yeah, I think we're good. So that's looking all right. Now, again, I'll go up here. I'll hit uh, save as. This is going to be card number two. Now, the other thing too is like if I want to have, I think to be honest, I'm probably going to have two copies of um, of the Fist of Love ability. So I'm probably going to call this one. I think I'll only include one copy of this uh, Cannonball Toss though. So I think I'm actually going to call this one three and I'll, I'll um, fix the other one up later sort of thing. So there we go. So that's done. Uh, okay. Now, if we go up here, though, and we go into export, I'll just show you what I do here. So a quick export. Um, so you've got some cuphead things. Of, uh, students are designing uh, in our board game design club sort of thing here. So I'm going to get out of the cuphead zone and go back to Marvel United Homebrew. going to go into One Piece. I'm going to go into heroes i think yep garp um now in garp i'm going to create two new folders i'm going to create the um garp pro print and that's for if you want to get them professionally printed and i'm going to create another folder garp home print and this is where if you want to have those uh, cut lines and you just want to sort of print it out at home and just sort of cut them out yourself on in paper you can do it that way so uh in th this one here doesn't have those cut lines so i'm just going to um, save this in here so this is going to be an image file it's just a uh, garp uh, i'm going to call it pro print 3 and save and then i'm going to quickly change this there we go go back into export export as a PNG. And again, there's probably much better ways to lay this out and collect, collect it all and stuff, but um, I, this is kind of how I do it. So hopefully this helps someone with their system. Whoop, I should have gone to GARP. Uh, and this is home print and GARP home print uh, 03. And there we're done. So we've done two cards. I just, there was one last thing I just wanted to show you um, that you need to do, obviously, because the card's really not really finished if it only has one side. So as part of this uh, feature, we'll head down the bottom here and we can also make this a rules card. So if we get rid of the front of the card here, get rid of that layer there, you can see that um, Helios 23 has created this uh, page here. So if you want to make rules cards and things like that, you can do that. Um, we do not want to do that, so we'll get rid of that. And we'll close that down. And we'll go into the, um, oh, what did I, I think I clicked on the wrong thing back then. Anyway, we're gonna click on the back and we're gonna go in here and we'll open up the back section. So this shows you the back of the card. So let's have a look, you can do, special type so you can make this like a bottom of the deck card or a starting hand card or different things like that we're not going to worry about that in fact we're going to get rid of that altogether. we're going to put a new image in so we're going to do this uh all right jim bay now jim bay is a legend but we are going to replace him so let's go back to this image which you saw before uh here we go special preview and we're going to enlarge that, enlarge that. Whoa. Are we happy with that about there? Uh, maybe let's do it a bit smaller. It's pretty cool, but let's make, let's do this. About there. Oh, I sort of want, mm. ah. Yeah, let's do that for now. All right, let's get rid of layer one. Delete layer. Okay. And uh, now, so that's in there. Let's go save. Yes, good. Go back here. Now we can play around with this. Oh, I see. Okay, so I, I can make that a bit smaller. Uh, do I want his legs going off the bottom? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. 
So what if I do? All right, so there we go. All right, and you can see here with that guideline, you can see where the card is gonna cut that out. So you can sort of make some choices about how big and how to center it and that sort of thing as well. So that's all done in theory. Let's just get that out of the way there. All right, all right. So now we have this background though. So we've got dot patterns, we've got this pattern here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually drop this that I've made previously. Where did I, where, 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 where'd it go? Uh, no, that's not it. Mm, downloads, here it is, wallpaper. I'm going to pop this in, if I can. And we're going to go into that. I think this is how this worked. I practiced this before, dots pattern. We're gonna go into this. No, hold on. Oh, wait, I think I was supposed to go into the Jinbei pattern. Is that right? Yes, I think it is. Let's get rid of this layer. Uh, dots pattern. <gasps> oh no, did I? <laughs> I just I just deleted the dots pattern, didn't I? Oh, hopefully I can undo that. Undo, undo, delete layer. That's not what I wanted to delete. I want to delete the. Where's the? Where's this thing? Hmm. I don't know where this other thing went. Where's this thing that I just dropped in? Is it up the top here? Mm, front rules. Front, back, special types, character image. I just don't know where I've dropped this thing. Well, let's just cl click on it and maybe just hit delete. See if that delete. Oh, there you go. Aha! Higher than, yeah. Yeah, oh, maybe higher than, yeah, okay. Anyway, we, we, we worked it out. I'm not sure where that was. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, all right, so let's go to, Jim. I think it was Jimbei pattern. Uh, no. How did I put this in before? How did I put this in before? Okay, well, let's just have that selected and see, try it this way. Try it this way. Because I had this uh -huh. wallpaper. There it is. Okay, let's go into the wallpaper. There we go. This is what we need to do. All right. So now we've got the wallpaper. We go with, <laughs> okay, best tutorial ever. I hope you're really enjoying this, Sin and uh, and Dave. All right. So let's go. This is all for you guys all right. and anyone else who's watching. All right. So that's made that transparent. And the reason I've done that is because what I'd like to do is combine the dot pattern with this, because this is how uh, Helios 23, he does these really cool designs. And I think I've worked out roughly how he does it. I'm sure he does it much, <laughs> much more efficient and doesn't accidentally delete uh, other important layers, but yeah, we'll see how we go. All right, so that's worked, I think. And let's just make sure we get rid of that so we're not accidentally deleting layers later on. We'll go save, yikes. Is this where we want to be? Yep. Okay. And then we've got this layer here. So I think we can now afford to get rid of the Jimbe pattern. And we can do dots pattern. You know what we need? We need a background though, don't we? Hmm. All right. Well, color overlay. Now what I'm hoping for color overlay is I'd like to use one of these dark blues here. So uh, let's go in with this one here. I think we'll select something like this, maybe this. Yeah, oh, I like it. Okay, and then the plan is to have the background actually be that sort of this lighter blue so here as well. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but we're going to bring the wallpaper over the top of that. So the plan is to have the wallpaper up here. There we go. So that stands out over the top. And then we just increase the size of these holding shift. And we just want them to be large enough so that you sort of see a few of them there in the background. Um, oh yeah, what do we reckon? Something like that. Mm, maybe make them a bit smaller. Yeah, that's kind of centered, isn't it? That 
pink line I think means it's kind of centered and maybe go up a little bit. Let's use our uh, arrow keys. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, you can play around with that. You, you get the idea. Um, and we'll pop this down here uh, if I can. There we go. Aha. All right. So we've got our background there. Uh, not quite happy with the layout of that, but that, oh, you know, like the um, spacing of that, but that's okay. We've got our blue there. That That's almost too dark, isn't it? But we'll see how we go. And then now, can I work out live on television how to put the background back in? Uh, oh, you know what I can do, I think? Let's do this. Let's go in here with the Jimbe pattern. Let's do this. Can I do this? Color overlay. This would be amazing if I can work this out. Live on television, color overlay. We're doing it, guys. We're going in. Here we go. Clicking on this. Going to do that. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Oh, that's so good. I'm really happy with the... Uh, <laughs> The ability to, to pull that out live <laughs> okay so uh what i'm not happy with is this wallpaper so let's go back in and move it oh gosh don't do that what did i just do then i don't know what i just did then i hope i didn't shrink the size of the card but um oh no okay whatever i did there obviously wasn't too bad um wallpaper What's happening here? Why is that? Why isn't that moving? Oh yeah, there we go. I think I'm happy with that. That looks a bit better. Now, do we want to shrink it? Question is, do I want to see four of these little guys sort of centered? The answer is yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like, why are you still making these decisions? All right, I think that's good. Yeah, that looks cool. All right, so that's the back of the GARP card. So Darnell, hope you're happy with that. There we go. And what I like to do at this point is save that. We'll go in, save as. Uh, this is going to be, and I, I'm just praying to God I didn't change the size then when I did mess something up there of the actual card itself. But let's call this GARP back and that's done he's now in the GARP folder bingo bingo and um, we'll go in and do an export mm, and this is what HP this is a home print and let's go back all the way to the top home print outline and we'll go back. Uh, we'll go to the export. And this is going to be ProPrint. We've got to make sure we actually go into the ProPrint section. I sometimes forget to do that. All right, ProPrint. And we are looking good. Sweet. And there you have it. So um, I will minimize that. Oh my goodness, the infinity windows, uh, stop sharing. There we go. All right, so I think we did it. We, we got through it. Um, it was a long time. Uh, hopefully that wasn't too long for you guys. But um, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, there's Kanji. Hey, Kanji. Uh, uh, is this your? No, no, this is, this, is, um, this is Helios 23's template. Oh, yeah, there we go. D um, Dave's answered that. This is one of Helios's templates. Um, and yeah, so this was, uh, I wanted to really show off Helios's um, uh, template because this, this is what I've been using and, and uh, he's been so generous to share this um, with the community. So I really wanted to share this as well. And I knew that I was going to be showing off um, uh, Dave's template soon. Uh, he's been working on that um, and doing some great stuff with that as well. Um, so I wanted to show, you know, what, what the options are for people and, and that sort of thing. Because um, obviously you, you need the, the programs for these. You need Photoshop or InDesign, although I think they're part of the same Adobe package you know i don't know if they're the same package but like they're part of the same um company of, of things but you know obviously you need to make choices about if you want to purchase those products and those sorts of things as well so um you might not have the option to have 
InDesign if you if you don't have it, you know. So I wanted to show you that there's the option for um, Photoshop as well. So uh, so that's really good as well. So um, uh, and what's uh, Sin said? I'll just try and catch up on some of the chat here. I really do need to get into using these kinds of programs. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yes, it's as you can see, as you can probably tell from from my um, rambling through there, um, I've got almost zero skills in Photoshop. Um, and uh but it's still such a user-friendly design you know, within reason you know obviously it's um you know if you're completely new to photoshop it, it can be a bit daunting and that sort of thing but uh but it, it's definitely usable so helios has set up a really good, good uh good template there so yeah um and um yeah and and yet yeah, if you if you like this um um, but you want to see what other options are out there, yeah, definitely check back in, um, I think in a couple of weeks time. Um, that's the sort of the plan for, for Dave and I to, to get into it. And yeah, so we'll um, revisit Andrew Fantasia's design from the um, couple of um, weeks ago when we designed uh, Hydro Man. Uh, Hydro Man the villain. So we're going to, I think that's the, what we're going to try. We're going to try and take a run at um, uh, Hydro Man and, and build a villain. So you've seen a uh, hero template. So we'll see how it goes designing like the dashboard and the master plan cards and the and the um, threat cards. <laughs> I was like, what are the other things called? Threat cards. Yeah. So um, yeah, hope that was good. So uh, yeah, lots lots of great stuff. I really apologize. Uh, haven't really been able to sort of get a lot of um, games uh, to the table uh, on the channel uh, for a while. I um, I did just try and film. Apologies, X and and LX. I uh, did just try and film uh, Captain Kuro and had a really good game going, but I was making so many mistakes um, and I was really tired. It was after a big uh, athletics carnival. Um, I just, it wasn't, it wasn't good. And I, I made a big sort of error that um, would have been like three or four turns back to try and sort of fix it up and that sort of thing. So I just, uh, I waved the white flag on that one and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try and do a much better job of it um, for the actual sort of finished product sort of thing. But uh, Captain Crew is a lot of fun. And um, uh, yeah, so I hope to get into the, the, the video uh, to the channel soon sort of thing. So yeah, apologies, it's, it's not up at the moment. Um, but uh, speaking of Captain Kuro, um, I look, I know, I know the One Piece fans are probably not super <laughs> happy that there's a One Piece um, Netflix show coming out. But I'm cautiously optimistic. Um, I, I, it's you know, it's probably uh, blasphemy to say I didn't mind. I, 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 <laughs> I didn't hate the um, the bebop one. <laughs> Look at what you know, whatever. I didn't. I never saw the end of it, so I guess that says something that I didn't actually finish watching all the episodes. But um, uh, yeah, I, I, it looks like the team behind the the One Piece one look like they're pretty committed and 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 into it sort of thing. So I'm hoping it's pretty good. And for those uh, those of you who might be interested in dabbling in One Piece United but don't want to watch all, you know, 1,000 episodes of the anime to sort of um, to know what we're <laughs> going on about, it might be a good jumping in point for you too. And there's lots of cool characters from the um, X and L X um, that has been designing because he's sort of going through the episodes himself sort of thing. So he's he's sort of doing a lot of the earlier characters. Um, and so a lot of them are going to be popping up in that first season of the Netflix Netflix show. So um, yeah, Captain Kuro, uh, Captain Buggy, uh, yeah, and Arlong too, one of one of my designs. So I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, very cool, very cool. Uh, Avatar, oh yeah, Avatar, the the last Airbender. Oh, yeah, that, mate, that's an amazing show, isn't it? Yeah, really, really good. Um, uh, oh. Um, yeah, the because they're doing a live action air, Airbender, aren't they? And the, the last time they did one of those, it didn't go so well. <laughs> yes, yeah, they, yeah, can't be. Can't, that's that's right. You can only go up from here, right? So, um, yeah, yeah, it, it, we'll see, we'll see. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. But speaking of Avatar: The Last Airbender, someone better get on that. So there you go. Um, Sin, you should uh, do some Airbender. And there's not. See, that's the thing. You can do. You can do Avatar, and there's not. It's not. Like, there's not a bajillion characters. You could maybe just stick with the, you know, the, I forget what Saka calls the the team. <laughs> He's got some name for their team or something. I forget what it's called, but uh, you could do that team. You do the, you could do Saka and um, uh, Katara, um, Aang, and uh, you could even have uh, Appa be like a companion animal, pet companion or something as well. So that'd be cool. Anyway, well, um, yeah, thank you very much, guys. Um, Garp is on the way. So, um, he, look, look, he's impressed. He's very happy. Oh, is he impressed or is he angry? I'm not sure. But he's 
<laughs> he says cut cut my fingernails. Um, so um, yeah, he's uh, he's underway. So Daniel, I'll, I'll try and build out the rest of that deck at some point this week and and um, post those on the Marvel United Discord. And hopefully, eventually, that stuff I'll I'll try and migrate them uh, across to the um, the fandom wiki as well. Um, but yeah, lots of cool stuff there. And and Kanji, if you're yeah you're still there. Um, yes, yeah, so, so many ideas, right? It's just such a good system, so easy to port stuff in. And once you once you learn how to use these um, these templates, it's just it's almost like it's too easy. And then you're just like, oh, I want to do this, and I want to do that, and I want to do this. But uh, um, yeah, yeah, invincible. Oh my gosh, jeez. Although yeah, I feel like to do it justice, you'd have to like you know take a sledgehammer to your actual models and stuff to actually sort of have the <laughs> the realistic sort of effects and stuff. But um, Oh, I was going to say something to Kanji then. I can't remember what it was. Um, uh, I can't remember. I was going to. I was going to say you should definitely check something out. Or oh, it's gone out of my head. It's too late. It's too late. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much, guys. Uh, definitely check out uh, lots of these cool designs. Um, Kanji's just put his um, his uh, Brotherhood of uh, Evil Mutants. Um, the the three separate uh, fights. He's he's got all three of them published now. They look fantastic They're all up on the marvel united discord um so um yeah so so cool i, I really enjoyed the uh the, the toad fight in particular we, we just played that the other day and he's just bouncing all over the place um and he's he's got that uh true test of a good villain design is that when you play him once you immediately are happy to play him again and again and again and again sort of thing so um yeah he, he's just he feels like he's he's always got something you know no matter how, how many times you fight him, you feel like you're going to get something different happen. So, yeah, it's very cool. Um, Peter Cullen, voice of Optimus Prime, is joining the cast of Season 2 of Invincible. Oh, my goodness. Um, I don't know enough about the – like, I've seen some of the stuff in the the comics and stuff uh, on YouTube and stuff and Facebook, but uh, who that who he might play. Uh, I wonder if he might be um, the – there's some other big, big head honcho from that planet of the mustachioed guys. Um, <laughs> you can tell I really follow the show a lot. Maybe he'll be them, him, or maybe Battle Beast or something. Um, that would be cool. Uh, but yeah, Inv Invincible United. I don't know. United. It's too. It's too family friendly. I don't know if Invincible is ready for it. Although uh, X Nelly and LX has done the Castlevania show, Netflix show, and that doesn't get any more. Doesn't get much more violent than that too. So um, I guess anything can work, right? So yeah, lots of cool stuff. So yeah. Check out all, all that stuff. Lots of great designs. Um, Simon Templar, uh, Rick Nichols, um, uh, Captain Kirch, Divided Sky, uh, Lukey19. So many, so many great uh, designers out there, along with uh, Dave and Kanji, Helios23, X Nelly Nell X, Norlith, doing all the Street Fighter. Well, he's got kind of inspired me to do a bunch of the Street Fighter stuff, but he's also doing like World of Warcraft stuff as well. So, um, yeah. Uh, I, I bet yeah. If you're into whatever it is, if you go in that homebrew thing, I bet you can find it. And if not, um, they've given you the tools to do it yourself. So hopefully this has helped helped out. Hopefully down the track, people that might find this video, um, it's helpful for you too as well. Uh, and um, yeah, just really looking forward to seeing what what uh, people come up with and and having more people join the the community and just enjoy uh, enjoy the game. So uh, DC. Can have pretty dark storylines, yeah, yeah, and that's that's another big one. Um, there's people working on the DC stuff in the homebrews, um, and that's like a perfect, um, perfect thing. Just sort of mix and match with uh, with Marvel as well. Uh, and speaking of of uh, DC, uh, along with um, Street Fighter models and stuff like that, uh, Big Head Chibis um, are look like uh, an outfit. I think they're on Patreon, uh, and also Colts 3D. Uh, and they do a lot of um, really cool models and stuff. And so there's a lot of stuff from the Marvel and DC and uh, Street Fighter and, and other sort of pop culture universes that um, that they're putting out that sort of like seem – I don't know if they're specifically targeting them for Marvel United, um, but they're definitely sort of that sort of scale and that look um, as well. So uh, that's another option. So if you are making your homebrew stuff, you know, maybe have a look at some of these, these places like Big Head Chibis and um, – marvelous custom print uh and see what sorts of models they're putting out that might give you like if you want to be designing characters that have have models available out there so yeah lots of cool stuff going on um yeah 
Excellent. Make it, make it chibi instantly family friendly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Invincible, <laughs> the spurting stump and stuff like that. You know, it's family friendly. That that. What's that guy? Um, what's the dude that can't die? Um, immortal. <laughs> well, he seems to die a lot, but uh, you just have him in pieces on on the ground. But in chibi form, he's okay. So <laughs> he's all good. Um, if you get a one figure from MU at a much bigger scale, who would you have from MU at a bigger scale? Oh. Um. Oh man. On the spot. You know what? Havoc. We need another havoc <laughs> in a jacket, preferably. So there you go. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you guys. Um, it's been great. Um, I'm just rabbiting on now, so I probably better sign off. But hope you guys have enjoyed that. Um, well, yeah, like I said, you know, we'll probably be back in a couple of weeks' time with a look at InDesign and, and that template. Um. Correct me if I'm wrong, Dave, but I think it works quite differently. Is that correct? It's sort of like um, has f like overlays of um, scanned images of cards and things like that. I'm not sure, but uh, um, yeah, it seems like it's uh, quite different as well. So if, if your brain sort of saw what I was doing here and sort of didn't make a lot of sense, maybe the InDesign one will make sense and, and vice versa. If that one seems a bit weird, maybe this one will be more up your alley sort of thing. But um, yeah, anyway, well, thank you guys. Um, I. I feel bad, like if I if I sign off now, I'm going to be uh, ending your chat. But hopefully, you guys can sort of uh, continue it. Um, maybe maybe jump in Marvel Discord or something like that. But uh, yeah, have a good one, guys, and and uh, Maple Monkey out. See you guys. Bye bye bye.